What up YouTube, this is GeoCellFar1 and I'm coming to you with another follow-up update for my Axial SCX10. Now I'm trying to customize this as much as possible before the uh, big event that's happening at Elwood Hobbies on July 19th. So the more and more stuff that I'm going to be doing on this RC, the more uh, it's going to look as scale as possible. Um, I'm going to do the, un the unveiling of the new body at the event. Also, I'm going to try to get as much customizable parts that I could possibly can for this RC. Uh, with that being said, as you guys well may have known, on my last video, I ended up coming across and buying the uh, RC four-wheel drive wench, which definitely gives a little bit better of a scale look. Now, my RC, my SCX10 is sitting a little higher because there's a few modifications that I needed to do on this RC and <laughs> it needed to be done just for me to adapt these pieces. I ended up acquiring the RC four-wheel drive front bumper, uh, tough armor bumper, and I ended up acquiring the um, tough armor uh, bumper as well. But I'll talk about the first one. The first one is the tough armor competition stinger bumper. And the part number on that one is, yeah, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> uh, part number is z dash. S0640. So that's the front bumper. And I and I wanted to get this one. I am going to get another bumper. I, I did uh, on my last video. I did post that I am going to acquire a different type of bumper. But this was available at the time. And I wanted to have this available uh, for my unveiling with a brand new body at uh, Elwood Hobbies on July 19th. So I ended up needing to have a body as soon as uh, a bumper front bumper as soon as possible but the bumper that I'm looking at is not available as of this point so it's, it's out of stock so hopefully I can get it as soon as possible let me rotate this into the rear and over here it's gonna look pretty much the same as the older style Axial SCX10 bumper but this bumper is from RC four wheel drive and the part number is focus Z dash S0185. The reason why I wanted to get this bumper is because I wanted the wheel uh, attached to it. Now, as you can see, I do have the stock tire with the rim. That's going to change very soon, I would say within the next day or two. So everything's going to match up perfectly. But I'm going to do something a little bit special with this rear wheel. Now, the questions that are going to be asked is how did I adapt all these? parts on my RC because a lot of times there's there's been a lot of issues uh, with mounting this type of bumper onto the RC with the Axial SEX10 Jeep Rubicon and I had a little bit of an issue mounting that one. So without further ado, I'm just going to crack open the lid and just go over a few things that I've changed on my RC. So let's start off with the front. Um, the front in actuality, I had to take out um, a few of the mounting brackets over there and I ended up throwing the RC RC screw kick with um, uh, the nuts and bolts attached on both ends that was pretty much of a eh, it, it was not too hard of a job I it was a little bit of a snug fit but I ended up uh, matching up the uh, the front bumper to the chassis and it came out really really nice I, I like the way it just accentuates the bumper and it's, it's so stiff right now it's it's just amazing. Uh, I did put washers on, on both of the bumpers that I installed. Uh, the bumpers will get scratched eventually, but I'd rather them to have battle scars in the front than just have them, you know, with those little rings that you ended up uh, doing. Uh, other things that I've changed on my RC, and this is where I'm going to go into the rear bumper set. So I ended up having to move my battery mount to the front part of the RC. Now, there is a reason for that. Well, a lot of people have told me to put it, move it to the front for the reason of, hey, you know what? You need a little bit more weight into the front when you're doing crawling. So I ended up adapting that and installing the battery tray in the front. But there's another reason why I needed to install the battery tray, battery tray in the front. In the rear, there's uh, two sets of holes over there. And when you do have the battery mount tray on the front, you're not able to get to the secondary hole on this RC. So I opted to move everything into the front and mount my RC bumper over here, tough armor, 
obviously four-wheel drive bumper. The bumper is pretty cool. I mean, it's spring-loaded right here where I'm just able to lift the spring and pull it out and and be able to slide it out, which at this point, I cannot. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there we go, live camera. So definitely, definitely gives you a cool, cool effect. It's just like the other one. This one is just a little bit heavier, which is something that I was looking for to have for the RC. So here's here's where I'm at with my Jeep Rubicon. There will be uh, a few more follow-up updates with this RC. So hopefully I can get this RC as uh, customizable as possible to have it uh, unveiled at the July 19th event. So um, just want to give you a heads up on a further note. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Castle Creation decals. Um, they were initially supposed to be sent out um, by one of my colleagues who in actual life takes care of my mail. That was never sent out. I still do have all of them in envelopes. Uh, they should be sent out for next week. I do have them available, so don't worry about it. I don't want to feel like I chinsed anybody. I've been extremely busy and I haven't been able to get to a lot of things and I've been traveling a lot. That's why you guys haven't really seen any, um, any videos of mine. Uh, on a further note, on the new event that's happening on July 19th, uh, there will be food over there. There will be a little bit of uh, contests over there, uh, a few games and stuff like that. And uh, I've just been, uh, I've just confirmed with a good friend of mine, Draven3907 will be attending the event. So uh, this will be a great chance for a lot of people who have done the Rustler 100 mile per hour application to come up and meet up with him. And it'll definitely be a cool event just, uh, just to hang out and uh, meet a lot of the fans of the show and just meet a lot of people. It'll be definitely awesome. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and to all my fellas up on YouTube. Later.